Hey, welcome back, Akron fans! And here once again we have Kaiden and Vikarant on Rooftop Showdown. This is their third game that they played in a row. Kaiden is now on the west side and Vikarant's on the east side. So it's the second period switch. And it looks like Kaiden is going for very quick regeneration. This is perfectly normal. Vikarant probably going to be going for a standard 3RP importer to factory. Going for a HHC rush as he was before. That's worked out very well the last two games. I would be surprised if he tried something else. Though I would like to see him try something else because, I mean, he's been doing so well so far, he might as well just start exploring. I mean, at this point, he's got nothing to lose. It's not a best stuff or anything, but if it were, he'd have nothing to lose. Still, he is going for that. He's going for the standard, the importer, the three RPs, and likely to get a factory as soon as he can. Now, Kitan, on the other hand, of course, going for RPs, and he's putting his, his Arcticus forward. This is something he, in the last game, he put it closer to the back of his base, which I could not understand why he was doing. It did not pay off whatever he was trying to do, because the Articus in the front tanks damage, and is a target, and it requires that your opponent actually micros around it. But an Articus in the back does nothing, except possibly allow you to rebuild without your opponent noticing, but as I mentioned before, it's... this is where you want it to be. Or here. Like, somewhere where your opponent isn't going to look, unless they have air units or comm centers around the map. They aren't going to be able to just see it. And it looks like Vikarin, once again, he is going to get his factory right now. And we'll see ATHCs coming out from that as soon as it's done. He has his Marine going to the north, another one going to the south. And he has Special Ops going towards Chitin's base. Chitin, on the other hand, building up an Octo and not going for QP at all this time. Not sure if he's going to try to go for Mass Octo again. They It didn't work out well last time, so I'd be surprised if he tried it again. But he might. He might be thinking that it might still work. Looks like he is going for a quick... Progen triad, however, so that will allow him to get very quick Seppi's Faros, probably go for a fast reef, and then from there, let's see, that's a Seppi, yes, he's going for a fast reef, and no, he's only using that to get the reef, that's it, he's not trying to get any Faros or anything like that, which at this point he still needs to build economy a bit, I'm just it's a bit surprised he hasn't building a bit more, I mean, he has not okay, he has enough money to build another Octo, and I'm surprised he's not doing that, he has his Octo here to defend this Special Ops, but I don't see him actually building any more economy. I'm a bit surprised at what he's doing. Vikarin, once again, like I said, ATHC rush. That's coming in as expected. And the expansion to the north and south. North actually starting first. Interesting, since it's the less safe... Well, somewhat less safe expansion. It's the less... It's expansion with less boxes. Fewer boxes in it. South expansion has more boxes, but it's also less safe. And, of course, we have... Right here, that reef that I mentioned. Kitan is building. So, Kitan... He probably will build another special ops... Sorry, build another Octo after fending off Special Ops, but no, the Special Ops has left. Not coming in. Not entirely surprised, Vikram's probably just saving. There's no reason to let it go to waste. Now, ATC's coming in, like I said, they are coming in to attack, and last time, Vikram went for a proxy Macrofab, so I would not be surprised if he did that again. Worked out really well last time, so I think Kitan will be having a hard time. ATC's coming in from an unexpected angle, and it looks like Kitan once again going for more economy, but not going for QP, and I really think he should. It worked out well last time. That Octopod worked really well. Having two of those would completely fend off the ATHCs and allow for a bit of a counterattack. But no, he is continuing to go for Octos, continuing to go for LC, and his Seppi... Oh, this is further than the past, sorry. This is at the two-minute mark, and we were looking before the three-minute mark or so, so this is about a minute down from where we were looking. And Vikran jumping back a minute before that, double-checking everything that he has here... Nothing really needs to be changed, though. It looks like he is making some small modifications. Moving his special ops down, sweeping the south base. Yes, he's looking like he's patrolling around the south area, or the area to the south base, double-checking that nothing is crossing there, and then attacking up. So he's going to be going around to the back, trying to get the LC crate, or LC RPs in the back of Chitin's base, rather than trying to fight through the front. This is, of course, back to the 237 mark, where Chitin has already built his reef. Actually, jumping back to the 144 mark, which is where that Special Ops order was changed to. So the Special Ops will be going around, and like I said, going and attacking the LC crates from the back. Vikarin has not quite spotted... hasn't quite propagated for Vikarin yet, actually. I think he might have... I didn't mess up the order chain. The order chain is still going, it just hasn't propagated yet. So Chitin will be seeing it as soon as he crosses by, and the Green Timer will, of course, propagate that further. And Vikarin also sending his ATC down around to attack the LC crates. I'm just still surprised, no Octopods. I really am surprised that Kaiden has not bothered to build Octopods yet. Even one, even just what he did last time where he had 
a bit of else a bit of QP crate, and then shift it to LC to build one octopod. I still think two would be better, but I'm just surprised he isn't going for that. Anyhow, that being said, the ATHC will be able to deal a lot of damage, and the special ops here are coming back, attacking those LC crates, and Vikran will from here likely go get that mech. There he is. There's that mech I was looking for. Going to get that mech, going to build it, or build a macrofab with it. And once that is done, we will see more Mar tanks because that's what's going to happen. There's really nothing else that Kaiden has. I mean, Kaiden's not done anything yet that's changed the game massively from last time. Everything's working out about the same way as it was last time. So I'd be surprised if he was actually going to be facing anything else than what he was facing before with the Mar tanks. Because really, if you you have a winning strategy, there's no real reason to change it. It's just that I, like I said, I don't see why he isn't going for the Q plasma. I. I think he's a bit afraid that he won't have enough resources in general to continue to expand and to build up. But it's worth noting, Vikran right now only has six... No, no, not even six. He has four RPs. He has Marines set up to build RPs, but he only has four. Three on LC, one on QP. He is not building a lot of economy. He just has enough. And really, that's all Kitan needs. So Kitan actually be a bit of an advantage if he built up... He's had an economy advantage right now. And if he built up a QP, he'd be, he'd be set. He'd be able to build up octopods, and then from there he'd be able to build up Aryans if he needed them. But no, he's not going for that, and I'm rather surprised at that. I'm not totally surprised since it's something that players are not used to. Like, very, until very recently, and possibly even now, hyper-expansion, just expanding and expanding and expanding, that being your main focus of the game, has been extremely popular. So, it's hard to think, oh yeah, right, I guess I can, you know, not go for LC all the time. If I absolutely have to, especially if my opponent has beaten me in rushes two times in a row. It's hard to it's hard to change your mind on that stuff. That's not something that's easy to do. I'm not gonna really blame Kitan for this because really it's it's hard. Like when you're facing especially Vikran, who's well known for being a very good player, there's a lot of pressure on that, and so it's difficult to change up your strategy on the fly. So really I'm not surprised that Kitan has not been going for GP much. He is, however, going for it, he is going for the Octopod. Finally getting it, we'll be able to fend off the ATHCs, especially with the Reef support. More ATHCs coming, and now we see a, f well, a fifth RP is likely to come up soon. I'm really surprised Vikran hasn't built up a lot of RPs. Like, Vikran is the reason we are so worried about hyper-expansion. He is not building up a lot of RPs. He just built another one in the north, but otherwise he is not building a lot of RPs, and this is kind of surprising. So as you can see, the Octopod is doing a very good job fending off the ATHCs. And then from there, it should be... A simple matter of just continuing to build up, get another octopod or two, and then from there get advanced structures, get a spire, because the two octopods you should be able to fend off the macrofab and the mar tanks that come up, especially with the support with the reefs. And the ATCs have run off, so the octopod is not going to chase them. Mm, I'm not entirely sure I like that idea, but Kitan does not have a lot of money. He can't get a second octopod at this point. I'm just a bit surprised he isn't sweeping around with the octopods, at least double checking where it could be. But he doesn't have a lot of current energy, so that kind of makes sense. So the HTCs have run off, they are not engaging with the Octopod anymore. Vikran will be using that with a proxy macrofab here that I was mentioning before. When he gets the Mar tanks up, he will be sweeping in, going for pincer movement with the HTCs and the Mar tanks. And here we are, actually Kitan has decided to go out and explore, and he has found the HTCs and will be able to destroy them right at the implementable past edge. So two of the HTCs are gone, and the other one is retreating into a position where it will give away the proxy macrofab if Kitan chases after it. But it doesn't look like Kitan is planning on chasing after it. No, he is. He is actually. He is actually going after it. Never mind. He has decided to go after it. He will find the proxy macrofab and will probably stop it, actually. He is chasing the ATHC, but really that's his least concern right now. That macrofab is where he needs to be worried. Now, that macrofab is finished now, and it's going to start producing mar tanks as soon as it gets a chance. So Kaiden jumping back to the 630 mark, about 30 seconds down from where he was, and I'd be surprised if he doesn't change up the strategy and he stops chasing the ATHC, because this macrofab is huge. He needs to finish this thing off. It's three quarters of the way done and needs to be removed in order for him to live. And Vikran, on the other hand, has really not built a lot of anything. He, at this point, doesn't even have that fifth RP. So Vikran is not ahead in economy. Just worth noting. He is at the same level as Kitan is right now. And it looks like Kitan, yes, he is going to attack that proxy macrofab. He did destroy the ATC first. I'm not sure if he's going to... This might actually be a problem. The Martank will be coming out... The Octopods are in a great... Or, so the Octo is in a great position to get rid of the Octopods. Also in a decent position 
And the Macrofeb will be going down quite quickly, actually. But the Martank will be able to get out before it goes out. Yes, the Martank is out and will take out a couple of Octopods. It will also help take out the Macrofeb. Sorry, take out a couple of Octos. Not Octopods, there's only one Octopod. If a couple were done, that'd be, that'd be weird. And now Kitan going for the counterattack. Vikran, like, let's see, so Vikran has still lost his Macrofeb at this point. He's just double checking what's going on there. Probably going to be building. No, I can't, just can't build machinery. He doesn't have the money for that yet. Hmm. Lancers would be a good idea right about now for Vikran. That would be smart. He's going for mech, however. He, he might be trying to rebuild an. He might build another Macrofab, actually. Yes, he is. He's going for another one. He's continuing to go for Martanks. I'm a little bit surprised. Because. I mean, not totally surprised, being that Advanced Archers is being researched for Chitin, and Vikram's probably expecting that, but I'm still a little bit surprised, being that Lancers aren't bad anti-air, and Octopods aren't great anti-air either, so Lancers could just... Lancers could really just go around and deal with this, no problem. Anyway, Chitin going for this counterattack, he will be attacking the South Base, a good sweep. South Base being less defended, and also newer... So we'll be able to prevent them from actually doing anything. However, being that it is... Nah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what the age of the expansion is that much, except he will find the expansion and be able to hit the Marine, getting rid of it quite easily. So Vikran now has to deal with this. And it looks like Vikran, about 20 seconds down from here, is dealing with it by retreating, running the Marine just right away. And the, the Ottoman Octopod will find it, though, and will be able to deal with it. And the Marine has gone down, so Vikran was not able to save that Marine unless he jumps back even further to try to save it. If he were to move around this way and then up, then he'd be fine. But it looks like this expansion to the south has been removed, and ATC is being built up to deal with... No, not to deal with it. To deal with the expansion that Kitan has, and of course Macrofab being built up. And here we have the Seppi Pods. So Kitan actually has... He's gone to Tier 2, he will be able to deal with this somewhat. Martank's being built up as expected. And of course Vikran's starting to expand a little bit along the north side of the map. He's spreading himself out fairly thin, but Kitan right now is not in a good position to harass it unless he decides to do a sweep of the Seppi Pods, a scouting run, figure out where all the expansions are. Does not look like he's planning on doing that, though. The Seppi Pod is actually not doing anything yet. Well, Kaiden isn't focused on when the Seppi Pod is, I don't think. Just gonna double check. No, he is not. The Seppi Pod, jumping back to when it is built, he was double checking the attack and the future and the expansion, and it looks like he is checking the center. Not a bad idea. He is checking the center, making sure that Vikran has not expanded there, because that is a powerful expansion. I have lost games because my opponent expanded there. So it is a wise move. However, Vikran does not have anything there. It would be also, ah, once again, also wise to go to the north bases. However, he's not going to the very north, which is where Vikran is starting to build up a secondary base entirely. And ATC coming into the south base of Chitin will be damaging it. No big deal. Chitin's not too worried about that. He is more worried about making sure that he can get rid of Vikran's bases. Because Vikran has machinery. I should point that out. Vikran has machinery. He's probably going to be going, continuing to go for Martanks, but he may very well start building up some frigates if he needs them. Or if a Farbot comes out, he needs to build a Tornad to get rid of that. Though it doesn't have much QP, so really at this point, Martanks are going to be his best bet. And Sepipod coming in towards the north base, damaging it slightly. With the Octopod and Octo in tow, which will be dealing the real damage. Here we go, so one of the RPs has been destroyed. And the second RP will be going down quickly, but this north base is the one that Kitan needs to be worried about. Vikarin is moving out! This is earlier than I expected, but he's moving out with the two Martanks and the two mechs. Kitan doesn't have much to deal with this, but he has some area in this. He's... I'm a little bit surprised what's going on here, but it looks like Vikran... Hmm. Vikran will be hitting probably in about a minute and a half or so. So Kitan has plenty of time to prepare, but he's not actually doing so. He doesn't have a lot of money to prepare with. Having only two QP RPs and one of them having been harassed slightly. He doesn't have a lot of money to deal with this and to get enough Arianists to actually... Because Arianists are effective counters to Mar tanks. Since they can just... I mean, Mar tanks are not good against air. They can hit air, but they're very poor against it. So air, air attacks are effective. I'm a bit surprised the ATC is running away, though. ATCs are actually quite effective anti-air. At least in groups. So the Sebi Pod's still getting rid of it. So the Sebi Pod army for Chitin is doing doing its job. Far Pod coming in as well. Not cloaked. And he has not found the north base yet. Kitan has not found this north base. Vikarin should be taking advantage of this, but he is actually... He's giving it away. So Kitan, not sure if he's going for it yet, but he has gotten a bit of information about it. Seeing that Marine coming off there would hint that something is going on. And it looks like Kitan is well prepared for that Mar attack that's coming in. So, 
Martanks, HACs, no other units. Vikran is not going for any of the other high-tech units. Even at his point in time. He's going for Frigate, though. I was... Okay. Mention that. He's going for Frigate. And now going for Lancer as well. Good choice. Vikran. Really good choice. So that Frigate will help with the air units. Although... And the HACs are detectors, so that will help with the Pharopod. So yeah, there is really... Really all we can say is, we'll see what happens in the battle. But it looks like Kitan is not actually choosing to engage. He is going to be engaging soon, I'm sure. He's going to be moving back to these units and engaging the army. Because what else is he going to do? But he has not moved back far enough to actually be able to engage the, the entire army all at the same time. His Octopods will not be able to get in in time. So this will not be going well for Kitan. He's somewhat out of position. And his sweep was not as effective as it should have been. This north base is still at large. Still being used. Vikran is not really worried about economy right now. And he is over getting into combat. These Mar tanks aren't doing much against the air units. But once this frigate comes in, I'm a bit surprised Vikran isn't going for a priority move. But once that frigate comes in, that far pod is done for. Yeah, that frigate is going to be... Okay, frigate is good. The Octopod coming in from the back, flanking, will be able to deal some damage to the mech, but that's really not the concern. The Frigate's the main anti-air, that's a problem. And it looks like there is no way Kite can get out of this. He's lost his Farapod. His Martank, however... Oh, another Frigate coming in, that's even worse. So Kitan is going to be having a hard time dealing with this. He has a lot of LC left, though. I'm a little bit surprised he isn't built... He didn't build more QPRPs. I really am. He has plenty of room around this box. He... He has plenty of LC in the bank, so this just seems like a bit of poor planning on his part. While Vikran, on the other hand, is still floating a bit of LC, but he's not floating it that hard. However, I'm surprised he's not building it, as he could be. Kitan, however, Kitan getting another far up, and cloaking it this time, actually keeping it out of range for the ATCs. The ATCs cannot detect it yet, but they will be able to soon. However, doing an okay job. Kitan, however, not able to deal with this, and... This is probably the game. I don't see Kitan. Yeah, Kitan isn't done. Valiant effort on Kitan's part, though. But still, this is not going to be able to get out of this at all. Really, a few Seppies would have been nice. If Kitan... I mean, he has plenty of LC in the bank. He's built, like, four or five Seppies. That would have taken care of the Frigus, no problem. And then build... From there... I don't know, a couple of Octopods would have taken care of the Mars and ATCs, no problem. With the Farapod support, that would have been effective. So yeah, Kitan, and in case you're wondering, the reason why Vikran can afford all that is because he builds QPRPs. That's really why. His QPRP here, and QPRP, he had one up here, and he has one up here. And of course he has a North Expansion. But yeah, he has QP. He has Qplasma. He decided to buy some. Whereas you had two QPRPs. There's obviously some old habits that need to be unlearned for the new version. And, and of course, like I said, this is not easy to do. I'm, I really don't want to rag on Kaiden too much because unlearning habits is very hard to do. Especially when you consider that these habits have been ingrained over the last year. I mean, this is the first version where the economy has been this slow and yet allowed to build up. Like it's, It starts slow and then builds up quickly. This is the first version where that's happened. So I really can't blame Kaiden. This... We're all having a really tricky time getting used to it. Vikran's getting used to it really quickly because he has a really good knack for getting used to this stuff quickly. But really, it's it's just a matter of getting used to it. Your fl floating LC is something that means you either need to have more QPRPs if you need QP for stuff, or you need to have more base class units, or you need to get well. I guess legal class could help sort of, but no, at this point it would have been too too little too late. Granted, right now, Kitan's actually being able to pull out of this. Which is that Vikran still has more money, still has more income coming in. And it's... I don't know, Kitan really should hopefully watch this cast, watch the replay, and see how Vikran set himself up. Because Vikran actually did get more QP than Kitan did. It's worth noting, because remember, Kitan was mentioning actually a while ago... He was mentioning that he was worried about Brecken costing too much Q-Plasma. And... Yeah, I can kind of see that. Some of the units could have a small Q-Plasma reduction in cost, or maybe CISO could have a small Q-Plasma increase. But it's worth noting that Vikran did have more Q-Plasma RPs. The entire game, he was at least one or two Q-Plasma RPs ahead of Kitan. And Kitan didn't really saturate his base in Q-Plasma RPs, and even these RPs here aren't on QP. So, 
while I can kind of see how being low on QP would be a problem, he didn't hardly harvest QP. It's just worth keeping that in mind. Anyway, I... Wait a sec. No, this isn't... Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. So I'm not sure if this is... I'm pretty sure this is played on vanilla, but the fact that the crates had more energy makes me think that it might have been played on EXP, actually. Hmm. Well, regardless, most of the EXP changes got into vanilla 1300 anyway. But I will double check the map name once I get out of this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm just going to go on to game 4 after this. So, let's just do that then. <laughs>